Hey guys, my name is Josh from the channel Sharpshooter JD, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a short break from the workshop to do a really special video for you guys. This one will be resurrecting my slingshot unveiling and shooting test series. This is one of my favorite series and one of the most popular series that I've ever done on the channel. So I'm super excited to be doing another installment of it today. And in this one, I will be showing off a custom handmade textured steel slingshot that I made for my good friend, Dan Ambrosius. He requested this as a custom order from me and I asked him what design he wanted and he basically told me to surprise him. So that's what I did. I, uh, I've been thinking about this new design that I wanted to try for a while now. And I've talked with some other guys on the forums that uh, thought it was a really cool idea and kind of recommended me try it. So I've been uh, playing with the idea for a while now and I figured this was the perfect time to try it. I had no idea if it was gonna come out or not. Um, and it's super cool. It looks almost like a zebra print and he will actually be doing the shooting test for you guys as I'm a little bit worried about fork hitting this one as I haven't been shooting a ton and last time I picked up a slingshot I was getting a lot of fork hits so I would hate to mar this uh, beautiful slingshot that I just made for him. So he has graciously agreed to do the shooting test for me and hopefully we'll get an unboxing out of him as well. So yeah, it's gonna be super exciting and without further ado, let's get started showing off this brand new custom slingshot. So I made this slingshot in my classic slotted fork um, ergonomic style. So it's got slotted forks that are made for the reverse matchstick attachment method, which in my opinion is the best attachment method for bands out there as it's very secure, but also super quick to change the bands. Um, I love it and so does pretty much everybody else um, who has tried it. Um, and then I canted it ergonomically for side shooting, which is a style that I prefer. And uh, since Dan shoots um, gangster or side style as well, I figured he would like it. This one is a little bit bigger than my normal ones as Dan has fairly big hands, a little bit bigger than mine. And I made this one out of 5 16 inch mild steel round stock. And of course the real kicker here is the textured finish to the stock. So basically I had to do this before I even started shaping the slingshot. It added a whole ton of work to this and a whole ton of time, but I think it was totally worth it because it turned out amazing. Um, so I, I can't remember if I did this with a cross peen hammer or a ball peen hammer, but either way I basically just laid the stock out on my anvil and literally just beat on the thing for like 30 minutes. Um, I made sure to get a hammer blow on every square inch of stock that I had and I basically just went up and down the stock until I couldn't see any flat spots basically. And then from there I started shaping the handle and bent the forks and got everything aligned and even cut the slots and then spent a whole lot of time sanding it and uh, finishing it with oil. And I'll have pics on the screen now so you guys can see the finished product. It turned out absolutely amazing. Probably the best one that I've ever made both aesthetically and ergonomically and uh, just everything is, is one of the best pieces I've ever made. Um, I really hope Dan likes it. And uh, at this point, I think I'll turn it over to Dan and I uh, really hope you guys enjoy.
Hey guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's been a long time since I've made one. And this particular one was in the works for a very long time, upwards of six months. I'm not even sure I remember when I started it. And that was just for various reasons. I, I uh, got busy with some other projects, was filming new videos and so didn't have time to get back to this one. Kind of forgot about it for a while and I was waiting on some clips from Dan and uh, it just it took forever to get out and I finally remembered it and I was like yeah I should I should post that one it's been forever <laughs> since I started it so I'm glad to finally get it out really hope you guys liked it I thought it turned out really great um, hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season I know it's been a long time since I've talked to you hope you had a great start to your new year I know I did have been pursuing a um, ton of different dreams of mine and just making progress in a bunch of different areas of life took up photography and um, I've been performing more and uh, just really putting myself out there taking some risks and and I'm just really excited for what the future will bring it's gonna be an exciting year for me gonna be a big year not sure how much I'll be able to post uh, depending on how many of these opportunities that I'm looking into actually work out but I have a lot of big plans for the channel it's just finding time to actually get them done and uh, just constantly struggling with my perfectionism to um, to not only start on the project but to to get it done and to let imperfection be okay so that I can actually post it and not just languish over it for six months like I did with this one. And on that topic of um, pursuing your dreams, I just wanted to talk about that really quick. It's a topic that's been on my mind lately. I just, I hate seeing people just going through life, going through the motions, just doing what everybody else is doing. I just encourage each and every one of you, if, if you have dreams, if you have visions of your future that you've put aside because they're impractical, maybe revisit them. What do you love to do? What, what gets you out of bed in the morning? What excites you? What interests you? Um, what are you passionate about? What do you want to change in this world? Who do you want to help? Those are the questions you have to ask yourself. And then have the courage to act on those things. That's how you're gonna find fulfillment in life. I just, I really hope that something I've done uh, with these videos, something I've said has inspired even just one of you um, to follow your dreams or to just think outside the box a little bit, to be creative, to learn a new skill, to make something with your hands, wh whatever it is, I, I hope I hope my videos have made a positive difference in your life in some small way. I hope they have taught you something. I hope they've brought you joy. I hope they've inspired you to be creative, to think outside the box. And if they have, then I've done my job. And I just, I appreciate all of you who are watching this so much. I appreciate all of you who are following my channel. And I truly want the best for you guys. I desire for you a life of joy, a life filled with joy and a life well lived. And and this this life is just too short to, to live in mediocrity. I challenge you guys to be extraordinary, to be different than everybody else around you. There's joy all around us, primed for the taking. We just don't see it. We, we have to be willing to look for it. We have to find the joy, find the beauty in, in each moment because it's there. We just don't see it. I know I'm the biggest, uh, I, I'm terrible at this. I, I go through life, I'm so busy. I have all of this I want to achieve and, and I never stop and I never ask myself if if I'm enjoying what I'm doing I never stop and ask myself am I making a difference in someone else's life today I never I never stop and look around and appreciate the beauty of this world and that's not true I do but not as often as I should um, and I have a feeling you guys are the same way so I just challenge you today be different learn to see the beauty in each moment learn to find joy in each moment this could be you can find joy in your work you can find joy in your play you can find joy in all aspects of life you just have to look for it because oftentimes it's it's there and I just I don't accept it or I don't look for it and I do an activity that I do enjoy but I don't enjoy it in that moment and and I want to get better at that and I I want to get better at slowing down and at finding the joy in, in the small things, in the little things. Moments of joy can be found anywhere. Living a joy-filled life, anybody can do this. It's You don't have to have this ideal perfect life. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to have everything together. It's just finding joy in these moments. And it really helps if what you are doing every day 
is something you are passionate about and something you enjoy doing. That really helps, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way for you to find joy. But I, I just challenge you guys today, reevaluate your life, look at your goals, figure out your purpose, figure out what you want to achieve in life. Determine if what you're doing right now is bringing you closer to those goals and is fulfilling your purpose in life or if it's not. And if it's not, then make a change. That is my challenge to you guys today. And with that, I think it is high time I end my rant. I'll definitely be talking about this more, hopefully. Uh, if I, if I ha find the words, I, I struggle to articulate these things. It's, it lives up in my brain, but um, it, it's hard to, to articulate it in a way that makes, that makes sense. Um, so I hope you guys got something out of that and yeah, really really appreciate you sticking around if you've watched this far Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed um, Stay tuned for more content and yeah, I got lots more slingshot stuff in the works. I, I want to do a segment on Going through my old slingshots. So basically uh, showing off my entire slingshot collection I have maybe 30 slingshots somewhere around there um, not all of them are very pretty, but uh, I had a suggestion to go through them to uh, show you guys them. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that, and then I have some more slingshot builds, hopefully some weapon builds coming up uh, if I can find the time. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already, if you enjoyed this video and enjoy kind of the direction um, that the channel is going in. And if you're interested in getting notified uh, when I post new videos, make sure you hit the bell icon. And again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like or a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Um, let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Let me know what you thought of this kind of rant. And I really appreciate you guys being here. We're nearing 20,000 subscribers. And uh, I just, I truly wish you all the best. And I hope you all are able to find joy in life and to fulfill your purpose in life. And I hope we can all get to the end of life with no regrets and and or at least no meaningful regrets and i hope that we are able to look back on our life and and be pleased with what we have done and and to be content um, that is my goal and i wish that for you all as well and with that i think that is all i have for you today again thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next video bye